Metal scholars, let me just say one thing right out of the gate. Nazareth is just disturbing. We create narratives and sometimes we wake up and it was just all a dream or a nightmare, but it was manifested somehow. Okay, so first and foremost, we have the song title, Nazareth. This is a small town in modern day Israel. And back in biblical times, it was actually Galilee. And what do we know about it? You know, it's cited as being the place of birth of Jesus, son of Mary, son of God. According to Christianity, Mary was also born in Nazareth. So the small town here is really important for the story of Christianity. However, it only appears 24 times in the Bible. Most of those instances are actually referring to Jesus of Nazareth. And I'm focusing on this aspect a lot just because it will be my first attempt to try and tackle or to try and devise a context here. Let's look at the etymology of the word. So in Hebrew, we have Nazareth as branch, a branch that bears fruit. So that's akin to the context. You know, the branch represents Christianity. It's a branch of Judaism right up you know at the moment when uh, mary and joseph and jesus they were living there they were living under the jewish traditions and all of a sudden something happens and then there's this new branch this new way of living that's happening right now what if vassal is comparing himself to jesus here you know remember that jesus was born and he already knew that he would have to sacrifice himself in the name of mankind he need he needed to save humans right so he was okay with dying for love choosing to live a life of celibacy of preaching to his god vessel can also represent this choice the sacrifice you know the human who was born and now works and functions as vessel also needs to die he needs to sacrifice this mundane desire the uh, wishes and the dreams and now he will become this vessel that will project sleep's message onto an audience through in all the rituals remember that this human has a family and he might have had a lover he might be using the song as a metaphor to kill to sacrifice his previous self in order to fully become vessel to fully serve sleep actually vessel is not really a person he's a container to sleep's messages and interactions he might be a weapon right that's why he's killing he's just a weapon or he's representing a metaphor for for the weapon uh, and that's why the dynamic interactions here are so powerful every now and then you know the human side of vessel will try to interfere his own experiences will surface and then we'll get to experience this amalgamate right but if vessel is retelling the story of sacrifice now is his own perspective then he begins by letting sleep project the message and in this case we begin the song with the promise right i'll see when the wrath comes well could this be a promise that sleep will be there when the time comes well listen the subject matter here is controversial okay so i won't be able to say certain words or i'm going to try to avoid to steer clear from uh, words that youtube censors but uh, anyhow the type of content here is about a sacrifice or so some sort of like proverbial sacrifice and we also have wrath you know what what are they talking about what type of wrath well the lyrics are super open to interpretation here all we know for sure is that someone is promising to show up and they will bring wrath with them that's it that's uh, we can place pretty much any human being here actually i just believe that metaphorically he's referring to a god and i have two parallel lines uh, and stories you know one is vessel and sleep and then you have the alter ego of vessel and his former lover that would be a second possibility you know and the second line is actually even weirder you know you have knocking on your bedroom door with money that kind of implies some sort of like power interaction and dynamics where one person is subdued uh, you know you have these financial means could this be maybe related to a hooker or could this just be somebody promising some material wealth in order to convince uh, the other lover that you know hey just stay here uh, don't leave me 
You know, could this be just a promise or sometimes some couple dynamics, they involve people buying gifts and trying to use these means to convince the other half to stay. Let's look at the next line, building you a kingdom. Well, here is a typical narcissistic line. If you look up narcissistic love bombing, it will see that people who desperately need to have someone, people who crave control in a relationship, they're like suddenly infatuated. All they want is to be with that person because they're brand new and it's new supply. They want to please them like there's no tomorrow. Uh, six months down the line, you know, they don't really care about that anymore. When, whenever that happens, just ring your alarm bells, okay? Because that person might be a narcissist. And here, the main character, you know, he looks like a god. Uh, or at least that's what gods do, you know? Gods say, hey, worship me. Uh, humans need to pray to gods. So, uh, humans, they usually say, oh, please, God, you know, I'm praying, just give me money or happiness, you know, please, I'll worship you and I'll love you and I will promote your uh, ideas everywhere. So in a way, we have some sort of like narrative that's open to interpretation, but you can begin to draw some lines of context, but it's still really hard to find a main storyline. And, and, and the following lines, they give us more cryptic meanings uh, you have dripping from the open mouth i'll show you what you look like from the inside that's interesting it feels like sleep is saying to vessel let me show you who you really are you're not this human anymore that you used to be there's somebody else in there and i'll show you what you look like from the inside you know just look in the mirror here's the bathroom here actually this is when you look into the mask that's when you know that you need to love me you don't need to love this girl or your, or your lover you don't need to love your family this is what god actually says to jesus this is time to say goodbye you know and that's actually when jesus is on the cross he says uh, you've got mary and and james there and he says uh, man here's your mother woman here's your son uh, vessel knows he's he's working for a god now you know he's intertwined with something that's out of this world something that's beyond the flesh and bone you know that's why i think um we can compare the narrative of jesus when he decides to sacrifice sacrifice himself and and vessel decides to sacrifice himself for the mask and and actually the others in the band they have to do that too eh um, they're all experiencing a rebirth they're becoming vessel one vessel two three and four they're projecting the subconscious thoughts of sleep and then there comes this time when you do need to tell your family and your loved ones that you're going to go away and that's when bruce wayne becomes batman you know um that's or actually maybe he's always been batman and, and bruce wayne was actually a creation in order to cope with everything else you know tonight you have the answer well the answer could be the ritual you know the live concert so you watch vessel on stage and hears like wrath and aggression and anger and much more okay but now the song just pulls a yui you know it's a 180 and it goes to this very disturbing place it becomes rated R material, you know, the next few lines they deal with subjugation, violence, abuse. Now, I don't know if this comes from the imagination of the main character. Again, it might be vessel sleep or kind of like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type of dual personality where you have an, uh, the evil side is just winning the battle and tonight has come. And they're going to embrace darkness and basically it's just the sacrifice now it's no the killing but who needs to die or what needs to die is it a personality is it you know your alter ego uh but we do know that uh, in order for vessel to fulfill his needs with sleep something has something's got to give right so vessel sings let's load the gun who's loading the gun the most important thing is that it's let's like let us two people or two personalities are actually doing it there's no way to know exactly who but if you think it's vessel and sleep then it fits the bill next line is one of the hardest hardest ones to unpack make her eat the tape make her eat the tape in the bathroom mirror you know here we got a bathroom mirror with some tape on it <laughs> just 
just to illustrate my point. But remember that the mirror here is a metaphor for you to look into your soul, look into your personality, look into your behavior. If this is a girlfriend or a family member, you're basically talking about gagging that person with tape or shutting them up. Like whatever they say, whatever they want to verbally tell you, shut them up, you know, they're just the past. Let's say, let's try to imagine something. Maybe he's just super mad you know breakup of the relationship and he wants to hurt this past lover you know someone who broke his heart now he's dreaming about hurting this person and he's telling us you know uh, he's just a really sweet guy but he's got this really dark side with violent thoughts so basically here again there's no way to know for sure and you know you're just silencing someone or something you're just it's the act of silencing something it could be a narcissistic strategy in terms of like controlling, could be like sleep persuading vessel to kill his relationship, for example, or to kill his previous self. Next line, see if she can guess what a hollow point does to a naked body. Man, this gets darker and darker. Um, we're just now talking bullets and guns and I won't be able to refer to the acts per se because they're obviously related to devising a plan to follow with brutal and cruel actions against somebody else or actually it might be self-inflicted now he says let's hook her up manifest pain at the core of pleasure what can i say well <laughs> this song is just the weirdest eh? Uh, it's uh it's different from anything else that they've done it stands out because it's just this violent narrative and it's kind of like this song is the most sinful of all the ones that they've presented us so far and it looks like he wanted to imagine how brutal and cruel things could be applied to another human being. Or maybe it's just a metaphor that he's going to kill his former passions. He's going to sacrifice his previous life, previous dreams. He uses the uh, her pronoun here in this case. It's just left to interpretation. But if you ask me, what it truly means obviously i'm not sure but I, we can go out on the limb here thinking about maybe it's related to a god you know it's a comparison again at the idea of sacrifice but maybe now it's god and mary remember that mary she was born in nazareth and she knew that she was pregnant and but that was six months after that an angel gabriel told her i'm not sure it's just that when he says nazareth it points to the whole thing maybe could be an un unwarranted manipulation of events if she accepts it willingly it was done prior and remember that with sleep token we always have echoes from the past now maybe vessel is pissed at his lover maybe some something completely different you know it's his wild side his evil personality he wants to do bad things to his lover he contemplates gagging her which is actually something that many gods have done in the past if you look up what did zeus do to many girls in greek myths i'm gonna leave a link in the comment section actually in the description and uh, you can see a list of victims from like ancient history and and gods in the past but uh, if that is a timeline it's just echoing previous installments then it would make sense because that's how Kolkata and Jericho are built but I digress I'm not sure I don't know if this is the actual path I'm just saying that you can choose this way of looking at things now the song approaches the final act he keeps on singing this mantra let's load the gun let's let's load the gun it could be related to killing your previous self right Let's load the gun. I won't be missing you, my previous self. I, I've accepted now that I'm all <clears throat> for sleep. And Jesus would be the same, you know. Let me accept the cross that I need to bear. I won't really miss my mundane life anymore because now my life is all about preaching, abnegation, worshiping a God. And I'll see when the wrath comes. I'll see you when the wrath comes. So vessel... Uh, will see sleep during the rituals you know when they take place they become one 
So it's probably their hardest song, you know, with themes of love, obsession, control, sacrifice, letting go, acceptance, making decisions, <clears throat> feelings that are tinged with a sense of darkness, suggesting a religious or a at least a spiritual undertone. Maybe as a way to seek redemption or maybe to find catharsis through sacrifice, who knows. All we know, Nazareth is just enigmatic and unsettling, and that's why we love Sleep Token. Now, what do you think? <clears throat> do you think I'm completely out of my mind? Please let me know in the comments. I don't mean to disrespect anyone, any religion, any, you know, beliefs. It's just a way for us to trigger ideas and to share the music of Sleep Token. Thanks again, and I'll see you when the wrath comes, because music is what music does. Embrace the night. I'm signing out. Worship. Bye now.